So keys to overcoming allergies. You always have your short-term solutions and long-term solutions. Short-term solutions, herbal, herbal remedy formulas. I have a formula that was designed by a master herbalist in Las Vegas that works awesome. Elton John actually uses it, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. And the first ingredient is bentonite clay, because the clay absorbs the allergens and pulls them out of your system. Okay, it's, it's, it's always back to energy and it's always back to positive and negative charges. So the clay is a substance, it's an earthen substance, right? It's from the earth, clay from the earth. It has that, that charge, and that negative charge, and all those positively charged irritants will bind to that clay and it'll pull them right out of the system. It works really, really good. It's got a combination of other herbs in it that you know stimulate circulation in that, in, you know, uh, horseradish, nettle, eyebright, you know, things like that that stimulate circulation in those areas where we have issues. But the key is the uh, the clay, binding it and pulling it out. So I specifically listed nettle and camu camu. Nettle is your best herbal source antihistamine, natural antihistamine. Nettle grows everywhere around here. Um, you can get nettle and make tea like I have it in bulk. Um, it's an excellent natural antihistamine. Okay, does, uh, does the nettle have to be like grown here? It, I mean, you know how like they say honey works well? Right. It's no, local? not necessarily. No, not at all. I've been drinking nettle tea since April. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, like every day. Okay. Maybe make Just it stronger. Not. not helping you at all? I haven't noticed any difference. Okay. And then Camu Camu. I'm not getting sick. <laughs> well, that's good. Camu Camu, because of the high quercetin content, a lot of people will take quercetin supplements uh, for allergies, but Camu Camu, because of the high quercetin comment, uh, content, I've seen people just taking Camu Camu in large amounts and allergies completely disappear. So those are a couple natural herbs slash foods. Aloe vera juice, because of the poly polysaccharides in it, are excellent for allergies. <clears throat> and then, of course, you got what everybody knows about and has tried and has used. But again, these are short-term solutions. The sinus sprays. My favorite one is the uh, the North American Urban Spice because it's got the oregano in it. I mean, it'll open you up like nobody's business, and uh, it works really good. And then, of course, neti pods, sinus flushes. You know, we all know about those. So those are your short-term solutions to help with allergies. You probably tried all of the above, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's a picture of nettle. It's a, I like nettle, so I think it's a cool fruit. So I happen to have a picture Until of nettle. Until you step on it because you're going barefoot out in the woods. Well, you know, I think you'd see it. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're going on a moonlight walk. Well, that's true. <laughs> we ran into a bunch of it. We were out hiking barefoot. Oh, were you? In the woods at night. Ow. Oh, nice. stupid. Walked into a huge pad of, patch of nettle. It was awful. Ouch. Is it prickly? Is oh yeah. Oh, it burns. Yeah, it burns. Really? It'll sting that. Yeah. It'll sting you pretty good. So, uh, I think this slide's in the wrong spot. Oh well, we'll talk about it anyway. Because the. Well, hold on. I think this is out of order. Okay, so keys to overcoming allergies: long-term solutions, enzymes. Um. If your main problem is undigested food, depositing and floating through your bloodstream, depositing in your organs and glands and tissues and all of those types of issue things, causing autoimmune illnesses, enzymes will do the trick. And you're talking about not digestive? I'm talking about systemic enzymes. System? Yes, systemic enzymes. Because systemic enzymes will get into your bloodstream and they will gobble up like little Pac-Man all that foreign matter and those irritants that aren't supposed to be there. And this is kind of a good way to figure out you know, what's causing your allergies. Because like I said, if, if it's undigested food, you'll get relief from this pretty quick. And uh, you'll know that that's something that you can continue to take that will completely knock out your allergies. Try on hair again. Yeah. Sometimes it just has to be that way. Yeah. So it doesn't digest your undigested food though it just takes out the, or that oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah totally 
So yeah. you don't have to do cleanses in? You can just do that? No, you gotta do cleanses. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. Cleanses, cleanses is the fast way to oh. do it. You know, we got large deposits of stuff. Um, so your intestinal flora um, is key. Known as your second immune system. A lot of people say 80% of your immune system is in your gut. It will also get rid of and dissolve toxins and foreign irritants and get them out of the system. I actually have something, I just heard about it, I don't, haven't seen it yet, I haven't researched it yet, but supposedly in November I'm supposed to be getting a product that one bottle of this probiotic can knock out any candida issue, um, digestive issue that's related to intestinal flora problems because it has 147 trillion probiotics per serving, which is way higher than any um, medicinal dose I've ever seen. Imagine if you blended that with some enzymes. Heck yeah, then you're rocking. Yeah. So there's some cool stuff coming. Change in diet, um, chemicals, processed foods, household contaminants, you know, all these things are irritants to the system. And it's not just that they're irritants to the system, it's just it's that the body doesn't know what they have to do with them. You know, they're foreign to the body, they're not supposed to be there, they accumulate, the body gets overwhelmed, and when you have all these foreign contaminants in your body and your body's overwhelmed, well then all of a sudden things that don't bother most people, like say ragweed for example, bothers the heck out of you. Because your body doesn't have a way to deal with it anymore because there's so much other contaminants it's trying to deal with. Uh, colonics. Uh, even the FDA says every person has 4 to 22 pounds of fecal matter sitting in their colon. So this is, that's a good quick way to, uh, to cleanse. And then uh, reconnecting with the earth, which we talked about. Very important. I'm going to go back. So these are the things that destroy our intestinal flora, which I'm sure all of us have dealt with these things. Antibiotics. Antibiotics in meat and dairy. 70% of all antibiotics go to cattle, to feed cattle. Um, antacids, all your NSAIDs, your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, Advil, Tylenol, Excedrin. Prescription drugs, white sugar, we always, we always got to throw in sugar. Carbonated drinks, antihistamines, the stuff in our water like chlorine and fluoride. And then the analogy is candida is like walking into a crowded theater. If there's no seat, there's nowhere for it to, uh, to set up shop, to replicate, to cause problems. So the goal is to have that three to five pounds of good bacteria they say we need in our system so that candida doesn't have a place to, uh, to populate. Is that why you need like, pro the probiotics and stuff like that? That's why you need probiotics, exactly. I'm just kind of learning about that class, nothing to Yeah. So, you know, I really feel like those are the two main things that help people with that. Well, I should say there's three main things that help people. The, the enzymes, the probiotics, and water. You can't get irritants and foreign material out of the body without water. So you can do all the other stuff you want, but without water, nothing's going to work. Enzymes don't work without water. Nothing works without water. So that's a key. Anybody that has allergies or asthma really, really bad, always admittedly doesn't drink enough water. They even say it. Oh, I know I don't drink enough water. Well, that's the number one thing you need to do. Well, does, does, does the, like the tea? Like I yeah. drink a lot of water and a lot of metal tea. Oh, that's I mean, fine. Like I go back and forth. Yeah, your herbal teas totally count. With that. Yep, that's fine. All day. So, SOS, we kind of talked about autoimmune diseases. Uh, allergies can be a precursor to that because again, all those undigested food particles sitting in our body. Eventually, they've been there for years. The body has to keep depositing these toxins somewhere. So if it deposits them in the joints, you know, we're going to start to get inflamed joints. It can be rheumatoid arthritis because the body's attacking this foreign material that's not supposed to be there because the body's deposited it there. Because it doesn't know what, to, what else to do with it. Does that make sense? You like to... Yeah, I was just thinking about, so the systematic enzymes is good for that too. Oh, for absolutely. arthritis. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yeah. it's great for that. What if you've been, like, have allergies your whole life, though? Well, I mean, it, 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 yeah. 
It can come from your childhood. It totally can. I mean, babies growing up on cow's milk, I mean, that can cause allergies for life. You know, that makes it very challenging to overcome. I grew up in the country, and we were always going barefoot. Um, I mean, I didn't even get diagnosed with my allergies like, until like five years ago. Mm -hmm. But, um, okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm processing. I mean, you just see how. I mean, I, I can't relate to any of this because, I, I mean, like. But it can accumulate over time. You know, yeah. I mean, none of us are eating perfect. We live in a processed world. As good as we're trying to be now, most of us weren't good in the past. Most of us haven't eaten great our whole life and eating fresh foods from the earth. And it's and again, it, it can accumulate in your body over time. So if you didn't have allergies at all, and all of a sudden you just got them five years ago, it didn't just start. I mean, something in your body is obviously yeah. malfunctioning, or you wouldn't just get allergies. Oh, I've had it, but I didn't find it. Diagnosed. I never went to see anybody. I just suffered. I was, I would, I would get covered up. Mm -hmm. What you're saying, because I would go in for the sin these sinus infections all the time, and they just go, oh, here's your antibiotic, here's your antibiotic, here's... Well, there's your answer. Yeah. And I just would just get covered up. You just got your answer. We talked about probiotics, uh -huh. being your second immune system, right. being one of the single most important things for having a healthy intestinal tract, for having a healthy immune system, for not having allergies. You have to have good probiotics and good intestinal flora. Anybody who's taken antibiotics over long periods of time has completely destroyed their immune system. You just answered your own question. See, that's why I'm talking it out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but does that make sense now? Oh, well, yes, it does. Yeah, and that's so common because that those antibiotics, I had that list up there right. of the main things that destroy intestinal flora. Number one on that list was antibiotics. Antibiotic means anti-life. And It's an all-purpose killer. It goes in and completely destroys everything in your system. So what's worse, antibiotics or being on, you know, antihistamine? Well, exactly. See, we're, we're, what, mo what modern medicine does, unfortunately, is they relieve your symptoms by tearing down your body. Okay? So what our goal is, is to rebuild your body. If you keep going to modern medicine and keep doing antihistamines, keep doing steroid shots, keep doing Claritin, keep doing antibiotics, you see how every one of those things tears down and tears down and tears down your body. You're doing nothing to build your body. So our goal is to rebuild that. Can it be rebuilt? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's going to take time. You know, it's taken years to break yeah, it down. Yeah. It's going to take time. But for you, for example, probiotics is going to be one of the keys, repopulating that good intestinal flora because it's been completely destroyed by those